Hey guys, welcome to the shop. This next project we got coming up is this 2024 Platinum Trimmer. As you can see by what's surrounding me, we've got a ton of upgrades that's gonna be going on this truck. So follow along as we do the install and see the final product. Hey guys, it's Mike from RLC Motorsports, and today we're going to talk about this new 2024 Platinum F350 trimmer we have. The customer came in looking for a truck that would not only drive well on the street, but it would also perform well off-road. So that was our main goal, is how do we accomplish this and give him every option that he would like to achieve. So for you guys out there that are watching, we're gonna go over and tell you exactly what we've done to this truck. And we're gonna start at the front end because lighting is something that a lot of people overlook. Here at our shop, we focus on lighting because maybe you live on a farm, maybe you live way out in the country, maybe your road just doesn't have any lights and you're worried about those critters running from the side of the road and running into your brand new truck. So right out of the front, we started with a BMC light conversion kit for the fog lights. That's a lot of light. But to make a lot more light, we went ahead and did a Bala Designs linkable mount system. So now you can light it up no matter where you're at or how dark it is. If you'll notice, the grill, because it is a platinum, generally they have the platinum look. We had the grill wrapped on the truck to give it a black coating right there and let change up the look, which you'll see as we go through the truck. Moving on to the next big thing, which this is super important, is choosing your tire and wheel package. If you're gonna buy a truck that's just as expensive as this one is, you really need to focus in putting on some good quality tires. On this, we chose to go with a Toyo. This tire right here, excellent wear quality, excellent ride quality, and it looks really good. We did go with an 18 inch wheel, black rhino wheel. Big thing here. If you look at trucks going down the road these days, you're going to see small wheels, big tires, or you're going to see big wheels, small tires. Big wheel, small tire equals not so good ride. Small wheel, big tire creates a lot of cushion for a really good ride. We didn't want to stop there, so we went ahead and went with a BDS suspension and a pullover conversion kit utilizing Fox shocks. So we have Fox pullovers and two and a half inch Fox shocks, which have the DSC adjustability. What does this mean for you? You can adjust the valving on the shock and tailor it to your driving. So maybe you're a guy that spends more time off-road, lower speeds, or maybe you're a guy that spends more time highway speeds or even off-road at higher speeds. You can dial the shocks in to work perfectly for that. Moving down the truck, if you'll notice, we went ahead and had the truck wrapped from right here at the A-pillar all the way over the roof and including the mirrors, 
in the side panels. So that adds a little bit more aesthetics to it, makes it look a little bit nicer. For the guys that are worried about chipping your paint up, right here, these rock guards, this is a great solution to keep the rocks from beating the paint off the truck. And got a tonneau cover on it to make sure everything is protected in the bed of the truck. That's something we highly recommend for everybody if you're hauling valuables. Maybe it's fishing rods, maybe it's pew-pews, who knows what it is. Definitely get you a good quality bed cover on it. And then as we move around to the back, you'll notice we did full leaf springs, not just a block kit in it. And then once we got to the back, we went ahead and had this also wrapped. And then if you look down here, we did DMC backup lights or scene lights. So this is a really good option if you're trying to hook up a trailer, maybe you're unloading feed at night at the barn, maybe you're in a field and you need to see what's behind you. Whatever that case may be, this option right here really helps light up the world. So with all this being said, now the real question is, how does this truck drive? What's it like doing highway speeds? We're gonna hop in the truck and go for a ride and let you see firsthand what it's like. So here's what really counts is how does this brand new 2024 truck ride and drive? Because ultimately that's what's gonna matter to you guys that are watching this. And that's what matters most to us. So here we are, we're riding down the road. Right now we're doing about 60 mile an hour. And as you can see, smooth as could be. No issues there, let go of the wheel. Let's look at something because this is a major question on the new Super Duties. How does the Blue Cruise work? Does it still work with lifted truck like this? So I'm gonna just go ahead and turn it on and let's set it there. And we are set at 70 mile an hour right now. Hands off. There's what we need to be hauling behind this. Now that would be the actual setup. Have that big old boat hooked to this truck, headed to the lake. As we can see, rolling down the road, it's telling me to keep my hands on the steering wheel, but there is absolutely zero steering shake. And this is something we see a lot that happens with cheaper lifts. Once you get into a quality lift, do quality shocks, get your caster set right, you're gonna drive really good, okay? I can't stress this enough. When you're working with a 35 inch tire, 37 inch tire, 38 inch tire, whatever that tire size may be. You don't need 65 pounds of air in it. Just because you look at the sidewall and it says 65 to 80 pounds of air pressure is available, that's for max load. We are not at max load. We don't have a trailer hooked to us. We're just in the truck driving it as it is, okay? That's something you really need to take into consideration and adjust the air pressure accordingly to what you're doing with the truck and where it feels comfortable driving, okay? So we really try to focus in on that. Like I say, right now, you can see the steering wheel, there's absolutely zero shake. Even if I take off the blue cruise and just go back over here to the throttle, I'm gonna be able to take and let it go and we're gonna track straight down the road. As far as how does it respond, no problem at all. That's pretty aggressive for everybody watching, okay? I hope people aren't changing lanes like that. If you are, you probably deal with a little bit of road rage, okay? I wish we could find somewhere that we could really test out some bumps on this so that you could see what it looks like in cab. But this is where most people are gonna be at. They're gonna be on the highway or commuting to and from work or to and from the farm. So this is more realistic for everyone. And I gotta admit, this 24 Platinum, this truck's awesome. I mean, it's comfortable. The seats in it are comfortable. I wanna say that this thing even has the massaging seats in it. I don't know where it's at. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, uh, there we go. So check this out. If you really enjoy comfort and that's something you're looking for out of a truck and especially when you're spending this kind of money, I mean, does it get better? I've got a massaging seat going right now, set my Blue Cruise on and sit back and just enjoy it. I mean, it is 
Oh, it's so comfortable. Wait, I obviously didn't get it right there. Where's that at? There we go. Okay. Yeah, if I had this in my truck, I think I'd probably get in trouble because I'd be taking a nap while I was going down the road. <laughs> Now that you have an idea of what this 24 drives and rides like, if you have questions and you're thinking about building a new truck or any year truck, I don't care what it is, but you just don't understand the lift, the tires, the whole package, send us a message, give us a call. Anything we can do to help you, we'll be glad to. We'd like to earn your business. We'll be glad to do the install at the shop. And also thank you for watching this.